Our story opens today in the beautiful little village of Frostbite Falls, Minnesota, where the... That's Frostbite Falls? Uh, where our heroes, Rocky and Bullwinkle, are... Uh... Which way to go, Black Eagle? Go on that way. Come on, Sheriff. We'll head him off at Eagle Pass. Now, wait a minute. That isn't the Rocky show. It... Can we do something? Check the monitor, will you, Jim? I, I got it. We're all clear here. Well, you got the uh, crossover man? Yeah, I, I can't think why it's... Well, look, uh... see if you can trace it on line 12. Right, right. One moment, ladies and gentlemen, please. We seem to have a Western on in place of the Rocky show. Hey, somebody's hooked up number 27 here. Uh, well, you better pull it, Jim. Okay. Uh, that's better. Now... Now, who could have been? I cannot tell a lie. Boys, the pity. I did it. You did it? But why, Bullwinkle? Because I'm just crazy about Westing. You're just crazy, period. Can I help it if I'm a cowboy at heart? But you're already a big television hero type. Yeah, but why don't I ever get to wear a big hat like Two Gum Twombly? Well, there's a good reason. I'm not a U.S. Marshal? No, your antlers are in the way. Yeah, that's right. Well, it looked as if the nearest Bullwinkle would ever get to the Wild West was on his television set. You aim to draw, stranger? <laughs> You, you said, said it, it Krampus. Krampus. Then make your play. All right, right a oh, He got me! Bullwinkle, what's the matter? That's the third time this season he outdrew me. Yeah, but that's... I the... must be slipping. You're just what? Bottom gum, that's me. Yes, Bullwinkle was cowboy happy, all right. Every morning, he'd rope the milk in off the front porch. Every evening, he watched the television from his saddle, and at night, he even took to wearing his spurs to bed. Ow! That does it! No more westerns for a week, Bullwinkle. No more westerns. I can't kick the habit cold like this. Come, come, Bullwinkle. Are you a moose or a mouse? I've been awful afraid of cats lately. Well... Oh, come on, Rocky. Just one itsy-bitsy, teeny-weeny peek at two gun Twombly rides again. Well, just this one. You gonna draw, stranger? I, I was fixing to. to. Then make your play. All, All right, right, I just... You've done it. I sure have. I beat him. But Bullwinkle. Hop film again. Fastest in the West. We're in the North. The Northwest. But look at the TV. I can't. It's bust tonight. Bust. Oh, what have I done? Yes, the TV that was bust meant a whole new life for Bullwinkle. For after only a week of staring at the silent set, he began to read. Raunchy ranch tales, cowhand comics, side saddle stories, the evening paper. How back get in there? Bullwinkle. You've got to get your mind on something besides Western. Well, okay, I'll read the want ads instead. Thank goodness. But even that seemed to be a bad idea, for Bullwinkle's eye immediately lit on a very interesting ad indeed. Look at this, Rocky. For sale, Lazy J Ranch, 1,000 acres of top bottom land. Your chance to go west fast. Box 1313, Squaw's Ankle, Wyoming. Full price, $28. Solid question. $28. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Now, we don't know anything about ranching. Yeah. On the other hand, it is a new adventure. Yeah. And the rating on our show's been slipping a little. Yeah. So let's do it. I figured if I waited long enough, you'd be back. Let's go. But if only our boys had looked at the front page of the paper as well, they would have seen that they were headed directly for trouble, real trouble. Don't miss our next episode, Fast and Moose or The Quick and the Dead. <laughs>